Uh, may we invite Ajahn to give us the three refuges and five yeah. precepts, please? Can uh, this, is this, I don't think this is on yet. Yeah. Is it on? Okay, good. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How are you now today? Are you everyone okay? Good? Yes, yeah. good, Ajahn. Is there anyone here who was not here yesterday? Yeah, a yeah. few, few more extra people. Okay, good. Okay, so great. So we will uh, start like we did yesterday, do the f three refuges and five precepts. Don't have to do it every day, but uh, because there are a few new ones, it's so nice to do regardless. So we'll do it again, and as we did last time, I will start out, and then you can repeat it afterwards. Uh, so here we go. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. 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 Buddhang saranang chami. Buddhang saranang gachami. Dhammang saranang gachami. Dhammang saranang gachami. Sangang saranang gachami. Sangang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi buddhang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi buddhang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi dhammang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi dhammang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi sangang saranang gachami. Dutiyampi sangang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi buddhang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi buddhang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi dhammang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi dhammang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi sangang saranang gachami. Tatiyampi sangang saranang gachami. Ti saranagamanang nititang. Ama bante. Panati pata veramani sikapadang samadhyami. Pana tipata veramani sika padang samadhyami. Adina dana veramani sika padang samadhyami. Adina dana veramani sika padang samadhyami. Kame sumi cha chara veramani sika padang samadhyami. Kame sumi cha chara veramani. Mani sikha padang samadhyami. Musa vada vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. Musa vada vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. Sura meraya maja pamada tana vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. Sura me raya maja pamadatana veramani sikha padang samadhyami. Imani pancha sikha padani silena sugating yanti silena boga sampada silena nibbuting yanti tasma silang visoda. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Excellent. Well done, everyone. That's wonderful. Everyone taking the five precepts. What I'm saying at the very end there, I said, Silena Nibbuting Yanti. You know what that means? How good is your Pali? Not 100% yet? Okay. So Nibbuting is like the idea of Nibbana. Yeah? So virtue or sila or conduct or whatever takes you to Nibbana. Yeah, this is the foundation, and if you practice virtue all the way, we're going to have a look at the suttas later on and show the power of virtue when it's practicing fully, take you all the way to the end of the path, yeah? Isn't that kind of cool? You live in Singapore and you go all the way to Nibbana, that's kind of cool, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, you, you might think that Singapore is not the place because too many buildings, too many people, but actually you never know. If you really do these things well, uh, you can go a long way wherever you are in the world, as long as you are human. Are you all human? Yes. Yeah? Okay, okay, good. You never know. There might be a few ghosts in the assembly. So just checking, <laughs> making sure everyone is okay. 
So we're going to start off okay. and... Meta? Meta, yes, 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 it's coming. <laughs> 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 so Eileen is getting impatient with me, too much, too much talking. Yeah. So we're going to start with doing the uh, Meta Sutta. So no, in case Ajahn forgets. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> this is what should be done by one who is skilled in goodness and who knows the path of peace. Let them be able and upright, straightforward and gentle in speech, humble and not conceited, contented and easily satisfied, have with duties and frugal in their ways, peaceful and calm and wise and skillful, not proud and demanding in nature. Let them not do the slightest thing that the wise would later reprove. Wishing in gladness and in safety, may all beings be happy. Whatever living beings there may be, whether they are weak or strong, omitting none, the great or the mighty, medium, short or small, the seen and the unseen, those living near and far away, those born and to be born, may all beings be happy. Let none deceive another or despise any being in any state. Let none, through anger or ill will, wish harm upon another, even as a mother protects with her child, her child, her only child. So with a boundless heart should one cherish all living beings, radiating kindness over the entire world, spreading upwards to the skies and downwards to the depths, outwards and unbounded, freed from hatred and ill will, whether standing or walking, seated or lying down, Free from drowsiness, one should sustain this recollection. This is said to be the sublime abiding. By not holding to false views, the pure-hearted one, having clarity of vision, being freed from all sense desires, is not born again into this world. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay, everyone. So we're going to start today like we did yesterday, do some meditation together. So just uh, very briefly... Uh, the idea of meditation, as I said yesterday, is really to learn to relax and to be at ease and to enjoy what is happening. The two main obstacles to meditation is the thinking mind on the one hand and the tiredness and the dullness of the mind on the other hand. And the thinking mind you overcome by remembering that all the things that you are thinking about are not that important. What you're doing now is far more important, being quiet. If you want to create a good future for yourself, you create that good future by being peaceful, by having a good heart, and by meditating right here and now, not by thinking about the future. The thinking about the future is endless. There is no solution in that realm. The solution is in the realm of being quiet and peaceful. And the sloth and torpor, actually the dullness and tiredness, uh, 
is overcome by getting some energy into the mind there, by remembering some positive qualities of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha and by rejoicing in the good things that you are doing. Yeah, that is how you overcome that. And the rest of the practice really is just about relaxing yeah, and enjoying the good company, the peace and all the good things that are happening here at the BF. So let's get into the meditation. Uh, before we start, can we request everyone to shut off their mobile phones or at least put it on silent mode? Thank you. Okay, everyone, so just uh, starting out as always, it's nice to have a nice routine for how you practice the meditation to go through the same, roughly the same sequence every time. Uh, sometimes you can go through the sequence more quickly, sometimes more slowly, uh, but just to ensure that you take all the steps that are required for the meditation to work. Uh, and the starting point should always to make sure that you are nice and comfortable, uh, Close your eyes. When you close your eyes, you can feel your body so much better with closed eyes. So start off by just feeling the body here to make sure you are nice and at ease, no unnecessary pains and discomforts in the body here. And uh, then give yourself plenty of time just to find that ease, uh, the inner ease of the mind and the ease of the body. Yeah. And very often you can feel the lack of ease if, it, if there is one in the body itself. Uh, if the body is not completely relaxed, it means the mind is also not fully relaxed. Uh, so by focusing on the body uh, and allowing the body to feel really nice and comfortable, uh, just by being patient, uh, just by having a good attitude towards yourself and everyone else, uh, gradually the tensions, the discomforts just disappear. Yeah.
And uh, as you allow the mind to relax into the meditation, uh, make sure that you monitor the mind. Uh, don't just blindly go ahead and follow a standard routine. Uh, but remember the what you do in meditation or how you apply the mind depends on what happens. Uh, and if you do feel restless and thinking, uh, then you calm down more. Uh, you nudge the mind to remind yourself that you don't create the future by thinking about it, uh, but by being peaceful. Uh, if you do feel dull and drowsy, uh, you need some energy to the mind. Uh, you inspire yourself by remembering the good company uh, of being here, uh, the presence of the Buddha and the Dhamma, uh, the presence of all the goodness that you have lived in your life up to this point. Uh, so always monitor yourself. Uh, know what you require. Uh, don't fall into a blind routine of meditation uh, because then the uh, uh, progress will be far less. Uh.
Okay, <clears throat> everyone, so coming close to the end once again. Uh, before we come to the end, uh, just take a few moments just to reflect on your meditation. Uh, try to understand how this process works, uh, what it is that gives rise to good results. Uh. Okay, so that's the meditation for now, so let's have a 15 minute break. Yeah.